Section 3 of The Haunted Hour, an anthology by Margaret Wiedemer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nemo. The Nicht Between the Sanks and Souls. Part 2 janet's tryst by george macdonald sweep up the floor janet put on another peat it's alone in starry nicht janet neither cold nor wheat and it's open hoose we keep the nicht for only that may be oot it's the nicht atween the sanks and souls when the boldest gang aboot set the chairs back to the wall janet macready for quite folk hey a thing as clean as a winding sheet the commoner ilk oak thou's a spare up all the flue janet and there's a roan berry sweep them into the fire janet they'll be welcomer than mary seen set open the door janet wide open for what kens wa as you come to your bed janet set it open to the wall she set the chairs back to the wall but ain made her the back she swept the floor but left any spare a long spare old ache the neat was lone and the stars sat still a glint in doon the sky and the souls crept out o their moly graves i think would lie and by when midnight came the mither rays so a gay see and hear box she came with a glowing face and slumin with very fear there's ain o them sittin afore the fire janet gay now to see ye left a chair afore the fire while i told ye nae chair should be janet she smiled in amigo's face she had brunt the rod and breed and she left aneath the birken chair the spare frae a coffin lid she raised and she gaed aboot the hoose i steekin door and door three hours gaed by ere her mother heard her feet upon the floor but one the grey cock crew she heard the sound o shoeless feet one the red cock crew she heard the door on a sow a wind and wheat on janet come back we a wan face but never a word said she no man ever heard her voice lood out a calm like fray o'er the sea and no man ever heard her lock nor yet say alas nor we but a smile i glimmered on her wan face like the moon looked on the sea and ilk nicht twixt the sunks and souls wide open she set the door and she mended the fire and she left a chair and that spale upon the floor and at midnight she gaed with the hoose i steekin door and door when the red cock crew she come bend the hoose i wanted them before wanna her face and sweeter her smile to the seventh all souls eve her meter she heard the shoeless feet says she's coming i believe but she come na ben and her meter lay for fear she could not stand but up she raised and ben she gaed when the golden cock had grown and janet sat upon the chair white as the day did door her smile was a sunlit left on the sea one the sun has gained a war hallows in by winifred m latz the girls are laughing with the boys and gaming by the fire they're wishful every one of them to see her heart's desire twas thesi cut the barn brack and found the ring inside before next hallows e'en has dawned herself will be a bride but little molly stands alone outside the cabin door and breaks her heart for one the waves threw dead upon the shore twas katie's nut leapt from the hearth and left poor pats alone but ellen stayed by christie bairns upon the wide hearthstone and all the while the child her bobbed for apple set afloat the old men smoked their pipes and talked about the foundered boat but molly walked upon the cliff 
and never feared the rain she called the name of one she loved and bid him come again young peter pulled the cabbage stump to win a wealthy wife rosanna threw the apple peel to know who'd share her life and lizzie had a looking-glass she'd hid in some dark place to try if there for an inst her own she'd see her comrade's face but molly walked along the quay where terry's feet had trod and sobbed her grief out in the night with no one near but god she heard the laughter from the house she heard the fiddle played she called her dead love to her side why should she be afraid she took his cold hands in her own she had no thought of dread and not a star looked out to watch the living kiss the dead the lads are gaming with the girls and laughing by the fire but molly in the cold dark night has found her heart's desire on kingston bridge by ellen m h cortezas on all souls night the dead walk on kingston bridge old legend on kingston bridge the starlight shone through hurrying mist and shrouded glow the boating night wind made its moan the mighty river crept low twas all souls night and to and fro quick and dead together walked the quick and dead together talked on kingston bridge two met who had not met for years once was their hate too deep for fears one drew his rapier as he came up leapt his anger like a flame with clash of mail he faced his foe and bade him stand and meet him so he felt a graveyard wind go by cold cold as was his enemy a stony horror held him fast the dead looked with a ghastly stare and sighed i know thee not and passed like to the mist and left him there on kingston bridge twas all souls night and to and fro the quick and dead together walked the quick and dead together talked on kingston bridge two met who had not met for years with grief that was too deep for tears they parted last he clasped her hand and in her eyes he sought love's rapturous surprise oh sweet he cried hast thou come back to say thou lovest thy lover still into the starlight pale and cold she gazed afar her hand was chill dost thou remember how we kept our ardent vigils how we kissed take thou these kisses as of old an icy wind about him swept i know thee not she sighed and passed into the dim and shrouding mist on kingston bridge twas all souls night and to and fro the quick and dead together walked the quick and dead together talked on kingston bridge all souls night by louisa humphreys canis the priest went out on the night of souls stay oh stay said the woman who served his board stay for the path is straight with pits and holes and the night is dark and the way is lone abroad stay within because it is lone at least nay it will not be lone said canis the priest dim without in a dim low sweeping sky a scent of earth in the night of opened mould a listening pause in the night and a breath passed by and its touch was cold was cold as the graves are cold canis went on to the waste where no men be nay i will not be lone to-night said he shades that flit besides the shades of the night rustling sobs besides the sobs of the wind steps of feet that pace with his on the right steps that pace on the left and steps behind nay no fear that i shall be lone at least lo there are throngs abroad said canis the priest deathly hands that pluck at his cassock's hem sighings of earthly breath that smite his cheek canis the priest swings on a tune with them hears the throbbings of pain and hears them speak hears the word they utter and answers yea yea poor souls for i heed 
I pray, I pray. Lo, a gleam of gray, and the dark is done. Hark, a bird that trills a song of the light. Canis hides him home by the shine of the sun. What today of those pallid wraiths of the night? What of the woeful notes that had wailed and fled? Maria ora pro illis, Canis said. End of section 3